Hey guys, welcome back to the Rebel Chums channel. Today we're going to talk about new lightsaber news. Well, we're looking at Star Wars Battlefront 2. I've been playing this game off and on and I just wanted to uh, share the footage while I'm talking about lightsaber news. I thought it was very fitting uh, to do so because it's awesome Star Wars. Uh, it's a cool Star Wars game and I think it works better out than just showing you the Facebook pages etc as I did in the past so I um, I can show both my compassion for gaming and lightsaber so here we go we're gonna start with uh, news about Vader's fault now um, as you might know Vader's fault recently uh, announced their new cross guard saber and it looks really awesome I'm uh, very excited for their cross guard saber and I think um, I think it will be selling us hotcakes um, it's uh, interesting they uh, went for the uh, the cross guard 2.0 which I believe is uh, a park slash Corbant uh, cross guard. I thought initially they would step away from Corbant products and slash park products but it seems for the cross guard they are uh, still staying with uh, park sabers. Um, nonetheless the cross guard 2.0 is a very cool uh, cross guard and uh, with the uh, Plector uh, pixel technology it's gonna be epic um, having experienced Plague the Pixel uh, now myself with my Maelstrom from Vader Fold I can tell you Plague the Pixel is really really awesome super bright fantastic I love Neo Pixel I keep uh, praising that since I got the awesome uh, Saber Trio Aaron with Neo Pixel I can't <laughs> really go back to inhaled uh, lightsaber so easy anymore it's really that great uh, uh, new picture technology so that's really awesome uh, well I'm talking about all these lightsaber news I also show pictures during uh, the gameplay it will sh show up so you have a little bit of an idea where we're talking about which lightsabers and what's uh, and whatnot um, but that's uh, really cool um, some other news from Saber Forts they uh, released three new sabers and uh, they're called the outcast Pathfinder and Commando. Uh, in particular, the Outcast and the Commando uh, draw really uh, big eyes for my end. Um, the Outcast, fantastic. I mean, um, it's a it's a Star Wars game related lightsaber, and that is really cool. Um, I forgot his name at the moment. I will put it in the description. That's always when I make these videos, I forget all their names. I'm sorry for that, but. Um, it's nonetheless really cool and it looks really beautiful. Uh, the pictures will show now and you can see how awesome these lightsabers look. The Pathfinder looks cool as well. I'm not big uh, on the chrome finishes on both the Out uh, Outcast and Pathfinder. Of course there will be a normal finish as well. Uh, but nonetheless really awesome. Now um, also recently they also... Um, released the mauler so we just toss that in here as well some pictures of that it's a, a an unvaulted lightsaber as they call it a saber for it it has been vaulted for a while they took it out of the vault and reintroduced it and they also got this new lightsaber i'm not so sure if it uh, existed in the past but it's called the malavon it's a hard name to him for me to pronounce malavolent uh, picture showing up now um, Interesting lightsaber. It doesn't really do much to me personally But I know a lot of people out there love the claw emitter types of lightsaber. So hey uh, nothing to uh, nothing to uh, say about that um, So that's really cool and then we have some other news from the puck store um, I actually did just a review the new dueler version 2 is out so if you guys are interested, check out that uh, lightsaber review video uh, because it's an, uh, a really cool upgraded version of uh, the already really awesome uh, dueler. Um, some really cool uh, aesthetic uh, elements has been addressed on the hilt and I think it's uh, a really good uh, lightsaber as it is. So that's awesome. Um, and then uh, we have of course, uh, just do a quick pitch for the lightsaber Facebook club. If you're not a member yet, Please make sure to go to Facebook, find the Lightsaber Facebook group and uh, uh, Facebook, sorry, the Lightsaber Club Facebook group and join us there. It's a really awesome uh, group of people. We have a lot of fun and um, we have uh, zero uh, tolerance against trolling, uh, race hating, politics, and all that kind of garbage. Uh, also, if you're a big fan of Ultra Sabers or Kyber Light or whatever. Uh, our group is more sort of a face uh, a safe haven for any brand you like so for example there's no um, secret that I like a lot of Saber Force products 
And of course, there's uh, a very, very rightfully a lot of stuff to say about Sable Force products, but nonetheless, I'm still uh, quite a big of a fan of their uh, overall uh, products. So, um, having that group is really fun, and there's no bashing, and there's no Sable hate. So, hey, if you're interested, join us, and we also have a lightsaber giveaway in the form of a actual uh, design your own lightsaber and have a chance on that lightsaber being made. So definitely check that out as well. That's it's an ongoing, um, um, uh, ongoing uh, giveaway that we have now, so that's really awesome. It's uh, uh, sponsored and brought by uh, the Puck Store slash Wonderforce Aaron Lin. So definitely check that out in our group. And um, besides that, um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Um, some other lightsaber news. Now uh, we had recently uh, Kanan Jarrus lightsaber, aka the Spectre from Ultra Sabers, coming out. Seeing some pictures here as well. Um, interesting uh, lightsaber a uh, little bit controversial because uh, ultra sabers have a tendency to oversize their lightsabers by a bit too much margin in my personal taste as well uh, but um, there's plenty of people that like those sizes of lightsabers for me i'd say it's a tad too much uh, unfortunately but um, i was uh, really get keen on getting one myself so i might do that in the in event um, but for now <laughs> there's still plenty of lightsabers coming my direction and um, whole bunch of uh, lightsaber reviews coming up and um, regarding of lightsaber reviews i will be in uh, singapore from 8 and 9 september i will meeting the awesome guys at sabermach and i will interview them and i will check out all their lightsabers and do a review of all their lightsabers and they have some really cool stuff coming up i can tell you guys i cannot review what it is but it will be epic and the same for the puck store they are coming up with really some really awesome stuff again can't talk about it but you guys will see it and uh, there's a whole bunch of other cool stuff that will come up as well um so i'm really interested and keen on that and besides that, I'm waiting on my Bendu lightsaber order. So hopefully I can do the review for you guys very soon. Plus my seven chamber sabers, I'm waiting for them as well. I'm still waiting on my orders to be shipped out. And I will be reviewing those lightsabers as well. And then there is a bunch of other lightsabers, which I'm not going to announce yet. But um, hopefully you guys are going to like it. Um, so yeah, on the channel it's going really well. Um, I'm also working on a personal project on the site that's uh, lightsaber related. Um, I'm not announcing yet what it will be, but due time I will uh, release more and more information on it. I uh, hopefully you guys gonna be interested in that. Um, I uh, gonna put a lot of uh, work and effort in uh, making it as successful as I can, and uh, I've uh, yeah. I I have big inspirations, uh, aspirations, inspirations. <laughs> so uh, looking forward to that. And um, so, so back to the lightsaber news. Um, dramas has been uh, a bit on the low in terms of lightsaber lightsaber dramas. Not so much about scams and stuff anymore. Um, I think in terms of uh, the. Um, the, uh, the, the, the the bad things happening with the Facebook lightsaber scams and whatnot. I think we're now more in a safe space. Um, I also noticed um, just um, just out of uh, interest and the reason why I'm tying in that uh, to that is uh, I see a lot of sales of lightsabers. A lot of people are getting either out of the hobby or they are just selling off their lightsabers for new lightsaber runs. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but uh, one thing I noticed is that. Um, uh, Corbin hilts are uh, often for sale now and um, actually <coughs> I just ordered a whole bunch of Corbin lightsabers so I will be doing a review about them and I'm really excited about them because um, they're really cool the, you have the, the, the new Graflax, the new uh, Yoda, the new uh, Sidious, the new um, Crossguard and some other lightsabers from them so I'm really excited to do uh, to review those hilts when I get them in and do the installations and whatnot. So um, that is my video. Hopefully you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Hopefully you see you in the next video. Take care guys and have a great day. Bye bye.